authentic foxes as pets. On a scale of zero to cute, these little foxes are maximum cuteness. Since fennec foxes fall under the exotic pet category, there are some things that need to be clarified, such as legality, cost, and diet. We hope to provide you with enough information to understand what it takes to own fennec foxes as pets, and how to properly care for them. Fennec foxes are a fox that until recently, very little was known. They come from the desert regions of Africa and Arabia. Unlike other foxes who have been studied in the wild, not much is known about their lives in the desert. This means that most of the information on fennec foxes comes from ones that are kept in captivity and as pets. Here's a few facts. Fennec foxes are tiny. They weigh around 2 to 3 pounds. Their huge ears are a great asset in the desert. Fennec foxes can run up to 20 miles per hour. Crazy for how small they are. Their main diet consists of insects and small mammals such as rodents. Fennec foxes are legal to keep as pets in some states. In the natural environment where they thrive, the desert, they use their huge ears to listen for insects, rodents, and even to be alerted by predators. Their ears are also a mechanism that helps keep them cool in the summer. Do fennec foxes make good pets? As in the case of many exotic pets, people sometimes ask if they make good house pets, even though they could have special diets, needs, and exhibit wild behavior. To answer this question, you must first ask yourself a few other questions. Do you have the finances to raise an exotic pet? They can be quite pricey. Do you have the energy to take care of an energetic pet? Foxes are very energetic and need a lot of special attention. Is it legal in your state to own a fennec fox? And finally, can you keep up with a special diet and veterinarian visits? Exotic pets usually have way more conditions to raise them since they are tamed or wild animals. What does that mean? A tamed animal has been raised by humans and they have learned to live among them. However, tamed animals can exhibit wild behavior, such as scratching and biting. They will oftentimes urinate and poop just about anywhere, even if they have been potty trained. They usually do this out of excitement and not usually fear or anger. Lastly, foxes are high energy pets. They will tear up almost anything, furniture, toys, structures, housing, while it is up to you to decide if fennec foxes would make a good pet, I would say that a lot of work and care goes into raising them. This might be too much for some, but that is the thing with exotic pets. Some people don't care and just want to have them and share a bond with them. Can fennec foxes be potty trained? Fennec foxes can, in some cases, be trained to use a litter box, but I wouldn't expect them to use it every single time. I have interviewed multiple pet fox owners of different species of foxes, and one of the biggest problems with pet foxes is they cannot be truly potty trained or housebroken, and in most cases aren't suitable for indoors. Fox urine is extremely smelly and hard to get out of things, so you must keep that in mind when you're trying to potty train a fennec fox. They will still go on the carpet and the floor. Foxes have an ammonia-type smell and put out a lot of odors when kept inside. If you're going to try to potty train your fennec fox, make sure you have a lot of patience with them and never get mad at them or scold them. Always be positive and constructive with your discipline. How long do fennec foxes live? In the wild, foxes have very short lifespans. This is because Mother Nature can be very hard on its creatures. It is thought that fennec foxes in the wild do live up to 10 years, which is considerably longer than other fox species. In captivity, a fennec fox can live up to 14 years or more with the right care. In the wild, they have predators that feed on them, and they themselves must constantly be on the hunt for their own prey. On top of that, foxes can have accidents that hurt them, such as falling or wounds from scrapping with other animals, and it can cause them severe health problems. While not much information is available on fennec foxes in the wild, we do have information that has been gathered about them from sanctuaries and pet fox owners. Luckily, with the right care, diet, and housing, 
Fennec foxes live a very long life. Fennec fox behavior. For being such small animals, fennec foxes have a ton of energy. If you are considering fennec foxes as pets, then you will need to be able to keep up with their active lifestyle. They zip around their housing and enclosures like tiny tornadoes. Heavy panting is a useful tool in the desert, and it has allowed fennec foxes to cool off by breathing to a rate of 600 breaths per minute. Their large ears also help to cool down their body. Fennec foxes are very noisy, and most foxes are. They have a wide array of noises that they make, such as little eeps, screeching, yapping, high-pitched barking, howling, and more. Out of all the foxes, these cute little suckers seem to get the most excited, like they just drank five espressos in a row. They do make great companion animals. Foxes want to be loved. They usually do well with other pets and cultivate bonds with their human caretakers, other fennec foxes, and other pets. Most animals that are kept as pets need a friend. While you can own just one fennec fox, we would suggest having at least two. Or at least have them in a home where there are other pets and humans to interact with them as an outlet for all that energy. What do fennec foxes eat? The answer to this question might surprise you. The best method for feeding animals that have not been domesticated is to mimic their diets in the wild. Fennec foxes in the wild mostly eat insects like cockroaches, crickets, grasshoppers, silkworms, and get ready for this, even scorpions. They also eat small rodents and smaller mammals, such as baby chicks, gerbils, and mice. I believe it is best to keep up with a raw diet that mimics their natural diet. You will want to keep a fresh supply of crickets and worms when feeding a fennec fox. They could be picky, so you may have to try quite a few things. They also need raw meats, like rabbit, baby chicks, and raw chicken. When formulating a diet for foxes, you need to make sure that ratios of tendons, meat, and other parts of the animal are correct. You will also need a supplement called taurine. Taurine is only found in wild animals, so you will have to supply it to your fennec foxes regularly. Fennec foxes like to be fed a few different types of worms, such as silkworms, mealworms, and phoenix worms. Their daily diet needs to consist of a balanced number of insects, raw meat, and the correct supplements. They also need a small amount of vegetables and fruit, usually just a few teaspoons such as sweet potatoes or carrots. Fruits are usually used as special treats for fennec foxes. You also need to make sure you supply them with clean fresh water every single day. How much do fennec foxes cost? The cost of a fennec fox can vary by breeder, but you should expect to pay anywhere from $3,000 to $4,000. We cannot stress enough to make sure that the laws in your state allow you to own a fennec fox before you even think about how much they cost. If your state doesn't allow you to own fennec foxes as pets, then you will be breaking the law by obtaining one. Feeding a fennec fox costs around $80 to $200 per month. The amount can vary depending on how much their food sources cost in your area. Housing costs can also vary. You should always give animals plenty of space and build them outdoor enclosures if you can, although fennec foxes can be kept in a room as long as if it's large enough. Fennec Fox Housing You will need to have dedicated spaces for your fennec foxes to live. They will need a room or an outdoor enclosure. If you will be keeping your fennec fox in a room, know that they do have an odor and will also destroy things by clawing and biting such as door frames and the bottoms of doors and baseboards. Make sure that the room that you keep them in has plenty of ventilation. Fennec foxes have a ton of energy and need space to run around. If you are using a room to keep them in, you must make sure that it is big enough for them to get their exercise and have comfortable bedding. You will probably need a kennel if you leave them alone. They will get into and destroy all kinds of things if left completely unsupervised. Health and Care of Fennec Foxes When keeping fennec foxes as pets, you will need to stay in touch with their needs and health. Exotic pets are expensive, and they can often need special care and attention from veterinarians. Loving and caring for your fennec fox is the top priority. They are social animals and need a lot of attention. You need to be in tune with their dietary needs and overall health. If you're going to own a fennec fox, you should contact an exotic pet veterinarian that has experience with fennec foxes to find out exactly what kind of requirements go into keeping your fox healthy. 
One thing you can do to be proactive is to keep a fox book, a health journal. You can write down and keep track of their weight, age, and diet. You can also use it as a journal to record your awesome journey as a pet fox owner. Things to look for with their health. Weight. Are they losing or gaining weight? Their diet. Are they having any eating issues? Also, regularly check their urine and stool to make sure that it's okay. If your fox is gaining too much weight to the point where they are getting fat, you will know that it's time to cut back on their fatty foods. If that does not work, you will need to consult an exotic pet veterinarian. The same goes for if they are frail and losing weight. If they are being picky about what they are eating, consider changing it up a little. Go from roaches to more worms or vice versa. You really have to try things with fennec foxes because they can be picky eaters. You should also check their urine and stool for things like urine crystals. If they do have urine crystals, you can feed them cranberry extract to help fix this. If their stool has too much vegetable matter in it, then you will know to cut back on the amount of vegetables they are getting. They need to digest everything, and a healthy stomach makes a healthy fox. Oh, things foxes.